And as a thank you to all my viewers and subscribers, Mass Samper is now offering a 10% discount. If you want to get cool shirts like this one, or other mini four-wheel drive swag like stickers for your car, or stickers for your toolboxes, you can get them from massdamper.jp. Don't forget to use the discount code ZENBLUSTER on checkout. There are also links in the video description down below, and check them out. They actually have some pretty neat stuff. Thank you again, and now, on with the show. Okay, guys, so this is the day when we got to Tokyo um, at night. Um, this is us about to go and board the train to get out to Akihabara. Um, this is um, the day that uh, we arrived when uh, we came from Osaka, you know, the day after... Uh, the typhoon had come in and canceled the Japan Cup. You know, still kind of annoyed at that. And um, here you go. This is us walking around on um, the electric town, is what it's called. Akihabara Electric Town. It's one of the best places ever. And there's a lot of people just burning time, playing in the arcades. Um, there was some ice cream over there. We had some ice cream just for a little bit. And then, yeah, more people playing their arcade games out here. And this is a place called M428. Uh, Circuit Cafe M428. And that's Dark Max Devil. Check him on Instagram. This place is also on Instagram as well. Called M428 Kanda. As you can see. And this is a photo of Scott with the the two owners of the cafe. You guys should check that place out when if you're ever in Tokyo. And this is at night. Uh, we, we ended up hitting a bar later on that night just to hang out. And uh, this is Enomoto. As you can see, we ended up visiting Enomoto again. But yeah, this place is still one of the best places to visit when you're in Japan for many four-wheel drive. Look at all these kits. Quite a, f quite a few of those I wanted to go buy, but I, I'd run out of room in my luggage. I couldn't um, fit any more. I ended up buying 22 kits when I was out there, and I <laughs> didn't have room anymore. And this was um, a concourse that they were doing. Some pretty interesting stuff, and that's a, that's a pretty neat-looking Dangan Racers uh build right there pretty cool i wish we did some of that racing too some other stuff and uh let me see if we could uh a little bit further up on the yeah there's like a suspension car for ma and um, a pretty sweet looking broken g right there built on fma i think and yeah um enomoto whenever you visit him he will pretty much have everything that's current so he has a 17 millimeter O-rings. He has the 12 millimeter O-rings as well. Um, the O-rings that you put on the double aluminum roller. So those are pretty cool to get. And this wall of parts, just everything, everything that's current, he will have. Even if other shops have run out, he will have it. And uh, he even had the anchor. That piece that you use for anchor. Oh, and this is a mad tang dropping parts. Look at this guy. You know, can't take him everywhere. You know. Yeah, I ended up buying four of those, and then I think um, I split the rest with um, Scott and JT at that day. And you can see a lot of parts. They they sell piecemeal parts like wheels and tires. And they also have the tools too. I actually kind of forgot to film the tools. Yeah, last time I was here, I regretted not doing as much video as I am now. So you can see a lot of these are signatures. There's the mini four-wheel drive fighter right there. And a lot of other celebrities, I guess, of the mini four-wheel drive world had uh, come in at some point. And um, they had this, if you ever visit, check out this display case. There's a lot of neat little things in there that you can find out and this is the shrine kind of a funny shrine to me four wheel drive it's got a little bit more power now and this is us um actually asking enomoto to check out our car so we'll cut the audio in now hey this is a very good shop 
Oh yes, yeah. yes. Hey. Thank you, Thank Mr. Nomoto. Hey. Thank you. Hey. <clears throat> okay, mini <laughs> onko okay. Got that on video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. It's a death knell right there, the sound of your <laughs> transmission. <laughs> Oh no, no, no battery. I was going to kill him. 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 I 最低でもね、あのこのぐらいにしといて。ああ、わかった。オーナーがこれではダメです。<笑><笑>そうね、こうこうにね。That's my car. ブレーキではないんだよね。あ、ブレーキには一応控えるんだ。一体のブレーキ。He mentioned that um, us uh, American team, yeah, like we actually keep it pretty stiff in the front, like it doesn't uh, move. Yeah, the oh, he, yeah, they really should have yeah. Yeah. Is there a, a good version of that. Because when I jump, make it straight. Because I, I can't make a jump with like that kind of thing. Ah, no, this evil so kind of guy. Ah, jump at the time, ah, no, straight, not can't do it. Not that kind of guy. Maybe there's a good way to do it. Because I don't like the way they do it right now. Right? See? Just yeah. Till we come up with it. Seems like the new trend is that they actually put a spring in there as well and. As long as it doesn't flip backwards, okay. yeah. Yeah. And they actually make it so that it kind of flexes in during the front. Body is the most beautiful, this one. Oh. I think mine has the best paint job. I'll be telling you. I'll be telling you. I'll be telling you. Which was yours? That one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's not official, so don't worry. That uh, could be improved. Mm. 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 Also mentioned how like uh, the official craft, the Japan Club, there are uh, a lot of areas where like there's like um, uh, it's actually not smooth crack and there are like bumps and up and down and cracks. So it actually helps when you make everything a lot more smoother. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, he mentioned that there aren't enough uh, Dixon uh, stickers on there. <laughs> yeah, you guys contribute, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a few there's a few of mine. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry put the stickers on mine, that's why the mess up for stickers are a little bit more prominent. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, he's giving you it's an advice from the master. Well, as an owner, as an owner, you want to make sure that you actually force everybody to wear stickers. That's how you do business. Yeah, What's branding. Yeah. Branding. A very street business in the nineties. I like that. Mm -hmm. Likes heaven. Tell Jerry right now that he likes your paint job the most. あとね
、ブレイクのブレイクの作り方をみんなに教えてあげるよ。あ、ありがとうございます。いや、ヒスクのティーチャーズカップって今あのみんなノーマルをそのまま使ってるでしょ。はい。それをね加工する方法を教えて。あ、ぜひぜひ。いや、ヒスクのシューアスカップバイク。Okay, so this is us visiting the, <laughs> the plant model factory. Those guys are funny. <clears throat> yeah, this is the.、Uh, let me see. Some of the future kits. I think they'd already released some of those other ones.、Uh, Mark III Red, not yet.、Um, not the reissue, but this is a preview of the DCR02. And it is pretty cool. I, I really like the design on the DCR02. And that is going to be the 30th anniversary, like stickers. The dancing doll, and、um, I guess、uh, one of the new GT cars. And this is the, the Raikiri Shimbashi Special 10 year anniversary kit. I ended up buying one of those, and what it gives you is、uh, different stickers and a different wheel. That's another wall of.、Um, Signatures, they like to do that in Japan. It's pretty cool actually. They're always squares, as you can see on this wall, too. On the lower、um, floor, this is the mini four wheel drive area. There's a lot of parts out here, guys, and they're also discounted too, most of the time. Nearly everything here、um, is、uh, below the MSRP、uh, star price, if you're not familiar with that. The MSRP is on the label of the、uh, items. And、uh, some pretty interesting mini four wheel drive stuff right here. And I really like these、uh, gun blusters over here.、Um, it looks like they were built from an actual gun bluster XTO, not the Cusco, but they cut it out to make it look like it was a Cusco style、um, car. Two different cars. A red and a blue, I guess,、uh, for the twin stars or something like that. And、uh, yeah, I think this、uh, display is different from when I visited the year prior. There might be some cars that are still the same, but I'm pretty sure they、uh, changed the、uh, configuration and the layout of this display. And、uh, yeah, this is the wall of kits. A lot of、uh, current stuff here, you know. Uh, so、I couldn't figure out if there was anything missing from that side, but it looked pretty complete to me. And yeah, this is the side, a little bit of the RC stuff.、Um, as far as I could tell, everything was there. I, I, sadly, I don't do a lot of the RC stuff because it is just more expensive and it takes up just you know, way too much space. So, many four wheel drivers are an okay. Part of the hobby because it takes up a lot less space and it's a lot cheaper compared to the RC stuff. And yeah, there's some more stuff here built stuff the Nissan GTR from the GT500. I don't think they did very well this year in Super GT. There's a lot of、um, interesting parts over here, too. So, what you might actually see is that some of the parts on the RC side are the same parts.、Um, But they're just you know, relabeled and renamed and、uh, re item numbered for many four wheel drive. And、uh, <clears throat> this is an upper floor. This is where some of the other model kits are shown as well. I think there's some armor over here and some airplanes as well. A lot of、uh, tools. I kind of wish I'd actually slowed down a little bit and checked out what these, you know, what extra tools I probably could have picked up from them. I don't even remember if I bought any tools from the Plot Model factory, but I, I bought parts and, of course,、um, ended up buying some shirts too. And this is the、uh, upper level, the one that has the,、uh, you know, the track. I think I showed you guys this、uh, last year in one of the、uh, Japan trip videos as well. And this is me racing with、um, one of the locals, I think.、Um, I think he races、um, every once in a while at Fort Slabo, so I think、um, if any of you Fort Slabo guys will recognize this guy, just come on and say hi.
And this is... <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but she's creepy as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. It's I don't know, some sort of robot. <clears throat> yeah, this is the uh, diversity, um, the Gundam, uh, I think, mini museum and also, you know, like a a place where they could sell a bunch of stuff. This is the area where um, on the upper floors near the, uh, the Gundam. And then they have quite a bit of stuff, a lot of master grades over here. Yeah, but Gundam is uh, just one of the other hobbies that I like to have too actually have some kits that I haven't finished or started building. I'm sure quite a few. And then there's some real grades out here. Right there. And then some more. These are the high grade stuff. From the Universal Century era. And it's like a mixture too. And some other stuff. I don't know. First grade kits. The Gundam Wing section over here. And then some more HG stuff and um, some more master grades. This place was pretty sweet. Like if only it, I had some more room, I might have bought a master grade like one of those big guys right there. Like that new Gundam. And these, uh, I don't know, I probably, uh, these were expensive. Probably should have bought one of those jackets. And that's the, uh, right here is a mold kind of shows you how to how they did the molds for the uh, kits <clears throat> and then they chisel out some of the molds too you know just to keep it accurate or something like that and this is you know a mold as well you can still see some of the plastic on it and I guess those are the um, bits like they're they're fine like capsules of plastic I guess Tiny, tiny bits of plastic. And this is a diorama of the uh, factory. Um, I think the lower floor is like for design or something like that. Or manufacturing. And oh, yeah, there you go. The upper floors. These floors, I think, are the manufacturing side. Not sure. <clears throat> and some more dioramas for that place. They had a lot of stuff on display. I think they were just doing the... Um, Gunpla Builders World Cup, and these a lot of these are entries, I think, if I recall correctly. Some pretty interesting stuff. And I just wish Mini Four was as popular as Gundam. You know, quite a bit of um, fa fans like this. You know, look at how many kits there are, and I think these are all submitted by um, modelers out there in the wild. A lot of um, Gundam right there. Look at this. And then uh, these, I don't know what these were, but these, it says Meister Builders. So these must have been like Master Modelers. And then look at, look at these. And then that's the, the new Gundam. One of my favorite designs. And this giant wall of kits right here. All the high grade stuff, one by 100 scale. Even that big one in the center called the dendrobium as one by 100 scale as well and it looks like they go through some of the timelines that big black one is the psycho gundam um let me see if there's anything notable on this side you can i think the unicorn is near this side as well i'm not sure if i'm able to see it but 96 so it's a little bit on the left side i may not, i may have skimmed past it but um yeah there's a phoenix right there I don't know what that is. Something cool in the future. So there you have it, guys. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Go race.